Hello everybody, Aro Dance here and welcome back to a Sky Full of Stars. Uh, oh my god, this is so fast. Okay, welcome to a Sky Full of Stars. Sorry. Okay, let's continue with the game. Oh my god, the, the voice changed. That's great, that's great. Okay, let's continue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is the gallery. Uh, here it is, right? Okay, sorry, what the hell. Okay, yeah. Uh, the last time uh, we saw the prologue, yeah, uh, of Akito, Hikari, and Saya, right? Yeah. These childhood friends were, were looking at the stars, yeah. So now we are here when uh, Akito is, is a teen right now, yeah, because some years passed. Um, someone came in Sao Tome's shot and buy, right? Okay, let's see, come on. Yeah, come on. Alright, Akito. Oh, she came. Who came? <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty wrong, sorry guys, what the hell. Okay, let's continue. Oh, girl uniform. Don't tell me it's Saya, that uh, girl with the weird eyes. Oh. Shiba Inu? Yeah, I remember the barking of the dove last time. So the breed is Shiba Inu, right? I went out to look at what's met with the same old Isin, okay? That is, a Shiba standing on its hind legs, Wangi is still uh, straining its lead to the limit. Mm -hmm. And in front of him, her brown forward in deep consternation stood a girl in her school uniform. Yeah, I think that's that dark girl, right, Sayan? Because look at her hair, it's white. It was a naughty scene, but taken as a picture, it was utterly quite pleasant. The girl had the kind of beauty you usually see in commercials. Oh, really? Oh my god. Her face was pretty laid out, her figure was slim and elegant, and her hair shone under the morning sun. All of which made her the archetype of the beautiful schoolgirl, of course, but most striking about her was something else. Mm hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I saw, yeah, look at her, her eyes. Oh my god. It was her eyes, yeah. Oh man, I feel like... <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable with her eyes. Look, what the hell just happened, girl? Her left eye and right eye were different colors. Okay, tell me why her eyes are like this. Oh my god. One was intense blue and the other orange thing with amber. Okay, okay, that's the color, right? Orange thing with amber. Those beautiful jewel-like multicolor eyes were now to wrap. What? Why? Okay, oh my god, are you crying, girl? What the hell? What the hell just happened? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> listen to the voice of the dog. Listen, listen. Here, right? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? It's not so, so fake. It doesn't sound like a, a real dog. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, listen. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? <laughs> At first glance, it seems like the girl was crying because she was surprised at the Shiva's excitement, but actually it was something else. Okay, what, what the hell just happened, girl? Come on. The girl seems to reach out the hand, then retract it, but then reach out again. Though seeing this sense something was about to happen and got more excited, whipping the tail back and forth and barking happily. Kotai? Koti, Koti, what the? Okay, that's the name of the dog, right? She couldn't bury it anymore. The girl with multicolor eyes reached out to pet the Shiva's head. Alright. Stop, Saya. Yeah, I Saya. <laughs> Come on. Her hand cut stop just in time. You know how this ends, right? What happened if you play with him? Hmm. Oh my god, your voice, your voice sounds the same, girl! What the hell? That's what you said last time, but you couldn't help it, and who ended up crying then? Yeah. Don't cry, girl, please. It was Shenny season, and the Shiva's fur was in the middle of regrowing and was shedding a tomb. Mm. To clean her full cover uniform last time, she had to buy a lint roller for us and really work on it. Mm. Okay. Kotaru, that's the name of the dog, okay. Alright. Kotaru the Shiva reached out his nose and carefully sniffed out the girl's outstretched hand. Saya just stared at Kotaru with her teary 
You will like ice. Mm. Come on, tearful shaking Saya. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you watch my if my hard hat wins gameplay, I I call Kotori the tearful shaking Kotori. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't cry, girl, please. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Top, top, top. Okay. Close to tears, I wave regretfully and Kotaro and rush into the store. It had all the drama of the scene in some old movie where a mother had to give up her own child because the family is too poor. But <laughs> then, oh my god, really? What the fuck just happened? Come on. <laughs> Oh girl, what the hell? Come on! She tripped and did a perfect head first slide into the carpet in front of our shop. Oh my god! Oh, you're so clumsy, I guess, yeah, I guess you know? And then a shadow appeared over her. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> look at this animation! What the hell with this little dog? Look! She's trying to bang her? What the fuck? <laughs> look, look where, where he is! Look at this! She tried to make this girl, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, don't be a pervert, little dog. Kotaro having final success in breaking the clip on his leash, leap onto Sayus with joyful energy. Oh my god, this dog is so horny right now, what the fuck? Come on, find a bitch instead of a, a human girl. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, cut the fuck down, dog. Oh my god, I think she's feeling her his dick, right? <laughs> hey, Kotaro, cut it out, yeah! Come on! Come on, fake dog, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, look at her, oh my god, oh my god, she's... He's fucking this girl, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, I could tell, you know, what the fuck? You almost got raped by that dog! <laughs> Okay, raise your arms. All right. Oh my God. Kotaro had his way with Saya until I dragged him up in his leash. And thanks to him, I was not cleaning Saya's full cover uniform with a lint roller. Leaving Kia last time had been the right decision. It's probably your fault, you know, getting him worked up like that. Yeah. You have to be careful, girl. <laughs> What's happening, girl? Come on. Kotaro was usually really shy and timid, but if someone he liked came along, he walked his tail and wanted to play. Oh, okay, he wanted to play, so he was. He wanted to. to fuck <laughs> someone. <laughs> sorry, guys, yeah, I'm so stupid right now, sorry. Especially when it was Aya who lit, <laughs> had loved more than his ma master for age. Whatever the case, he was a clever, easy to train dog who was usually well behaved. Okay. If Sayo hadn't done her little, I'm going to pet you. No, wait, I'm not, okay? I will. What the fuck? This? He never would have gone off like that. Hmm. Anyway. Did you skin your nicks? Hmm. Okay. She's lucky she didn't get her, yeah. There is someone on your butt, too. <laughs> oh, really? So, so yeah, 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 because that sounds so pervert, okay, dude? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. She blushed and took her roller, then twists around to get a few of her backside, alright. Just yes, then the store manager came out from. Okay, who is it? Who's this guy? Oh, okay. Sure thing. My part-time job is only the morning from opening up the store until the manager is finished with purpose. Oh, okay. In the back of the store, I took off my apron and changed into my uniform. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, this place is called Saotome Shop and Buy, so I I think the the store manager is is her surname is Saotome, right? Or her surname? It sounds like a lady. Anyway. But I mean, uh, uh, sorry manager, are you related with Ranma Saoto from Danma Nimunoichi? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, come on girl, cheer up. Now you're 
You're fine. So you blush again and hurry off to get something to for lunch. Yeah. What? That's it? You eat very little food, girl. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not eating a properly lunch, girl. What the hell? Yeah, you have to eat more, girl. Come on. You're so delicate, so so sensitive, you know? Hmm. Yeah, you know, I love sensitive girls, you know? I find it very romantic that they, that kind of personality. Um, but please, eat a, a bit more. Saying this, she slipped a steamed pork bag bun into Saya's shopping bag, alright? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, her voice is so soft. Yeah, she's so cute, you know? I like her. Yeah, even when uh, I remember the, la the last time, yeah, in the first episode, yeah, she's so very, very cute. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, uh, and it says that, well, I remember also uh, Akito says that she was sensitive, yeah. So for that reason, I guess, I guess that personality. Feeling a little jealous, I got something for lunch too, and we left together, alright. Alright then, see you later, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay, thank you. When we left the store, Saya handed me half of the poor bad bun she just got him. She even gave me the bigger half. You have to eat a, a bit more, girl. Come on. Saya, you are way too nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, your personality, you know? Uh, hmm. Stop and buy pork buns are a little different from other places. Yeah, look at this. They're handmade by the manager's husband and packed with a delicious feeling. Okay, so the manager is a lady. Alright. They're also huge. They are even bigger than other chains pork buns. Buy buns are kind of famous around here. Okay, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, uh, he sent her a picture for in WhatsApp, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, it was too early, but uh, yeah, she she read it anyway. Yeah. Munching mm. on the steaming pork bun, I took out my phone, yeah. And what do you know? Saya had answer, yeah. But I think as you were busy on your part time job, you didn't see that, uh, that's, that's it, right? Okay. Knowing that improved my mood, I so I closed my eyes and slowly started talking. The mountain is so nice, you can feel the wonder of nature with your whole body and it makes you feel so small. Behind my eye leads the deep solemnity of the morning's view return to life. And in the middle of that view, drinking a single cup of instant coffee is the ultimate luxury. Oh really? Okay. I tried to tell her, but Sai's reaction was so strange, so filled with self-satisfaction that I just, I feel it, I should hurry up and read her reply. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the little rabbit, little girl. Look at this. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, this is a very different interface from WhatsApp. Anyway. For real? Yeah. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Thanks, Aya. Yeah. Saya's family is Odin. The grand... Grand... Oh, oh my god. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Sorry. Of nature around the mountain peak with coffee was no rival for this luxury. It really was something to look forward to. When she saw the bus coming, Saya rushed to finish up her pork bank. Oh my god. What is it, girl? You better slow down. You'll burn yourself. Yeah. 
Mm, come on. Be careful. Okay, see you girl. So be careful, please. Yeah, later. Uh, yeah, to the dog, right? Okay. Yeah. This fake dog. Look at this. Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that that barking is so fake. What the hell? She got on the bus and said hi to the other students from her school. She then waved to me from the window. Alright. One of her friends seeing this leered and poked her in the side and she blushed and shook her head quickly. Oh man. Why are there so many timid girls in anime? Huh? <laughs> That's so funny, you know? Let's continue. She probably got upset because they mistook me for her boyfriend again. Oh, really? Oh my god. Yeah, I was... I was thinking about it, you know? No matter how often it happened, she always overreacted like it was the first time that Saya's Amanogawa is in an archet. That's Saya Aman Amanogawa. Okay, that's uh, her surname, right? Amanogawa. Okay, sorry. That's Saya Amanogawa in an archet. Okay. When the bus was out of sight, I unlocked my bike. Guess I better go to. Right? What do you study, dude? Good morning. Oh, Sorami. So his surname is Akito Sorami, right? His surname, Sorami. It was sort of camping up in the mountains. Okay, yeah. I greet my teacher and head through the school gates. Okay. I parked my bike, I went over the buildings, but I didn't hit from my home room. Building 2, where the culture club rooms are located, was deserted and it was still pretty early. Alright. I walked down the quiet hallway and stood in front of a certain dog. Mm -hmm. Astronomy club. Oh. That's what was written on the sign of that door. Okay, so we got clubs here too. Hmm, yeah, because in my, if you remember in my hard hat ways, we got the soaring club. So now we are here with the astronomy club. Alright. I took a key out of my pocket and opened the Astronomy Club room door. I felt like I could sleep through first period. <laughs> yeah. I, I could tell, dude. You woke up too early. Truly feeling tired, I dropped the bag that was weighing down my shoulder and looked at the clock. I had 10 minutes until the homeroom. What the fuck? The clock doesn't have cans. Look at this! I have plan of missing wind with the sports team to get in, the, in, in other sports morning training slower but there wasn't time. I guess I'll just wash my face and brush my teeth then head to class. I grab the towel and two brush from my desk and head out to the, of the room. Mm, Alright. A totally normal morning, alright? The beginning of another day, nothing special about it. Mm, Alright. I didn't think much about it, but feared this was likely how all my days would be. But on late after school, something would happen that would bring a little variety from my, to my daily life. Oh, oh. Okay, look at this. Pretty nice. All I'm in middle now? Hmm. This must be the place. Where are we? The Peru Institute Meiko Academy. Oh, okay, sorry. It's an escalator school going from kindergarten all the way to college. Located near the sea in the sprawling city of Hoshinonaka. Okay, Hoshinonaka. That's the name of this city, right? Hoshinonaka. Alright. Just by looking at if you could tell it was a school for the kids of well-to-do families. Oh, right. Watching the kids going home, you got the feeling that they were somehow more refined. And while they live in the same city as us, they were really a different world. A different world, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
I got out my result and went against the flow of the students going home, entering the school building. Alright. Inside the building seems even more otherworldly than the studio did. What is this place? Is this actually a school? Mm. Yeah. It was in an airy condition lined by glass walls. It felt like I was lost in some place in a faraway land. Even under normal circumstances, visiting another school was nerve working, but this feeling of string strangeness was something else. Of course, all the students I passed stared intently. I went down the hall trying hard to avoid any eye contact. Hmm. Yeah. I guess this is it, alright? I stood in front of the door and look, looked at the sight marking my destination. Astronomy Club, alright, here we go. It was written right there, in front of me. Clapping nervously, I knock on the door, alright? Excuse me. To my surprise, the open door revealed only darkness. Oh, nobody's here? No one's here, yeah. Oh, at least that's what I thought until a tiny light popped into life in the middle of the room. Okay. Oh my god, the first thing we saw here are some tits from a girl, right? And with a car. Oh my god, is this astronomy club or astrology club? What the fuck? Or are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, girl? A girl's face appeared in the faint light and I nearly let out an involuntary yell. Oh. In the light, flickering red light, the candle, the young woman reached out for one the, of the cards laid out on the table. Mm -hmm. They look like tarot cards. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, but this is astronomy cloud is really clock. What the fuck? She looked down at the car and spoke. Suspicious beauty. Oh my god, I, I remember this kind of funny names. I, for example, you remember in my heart had wins when we, the first time we saw a mane, uh, it says mysterious beauty. Or when the first time we saw a carry, the uh, girl who seems like a senior. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, you knew that I was, I was coming here. All right. Yeah, you're so mysterious girl, but yeah, I... Okay, you have some very nice juicy tits, but anyway, what the fuck? Okay, sorry, it's so weird right now. What the hell is going on with me? Sorry. It was if <laughs> she was reading the future, like some kind of fortune teller. I answer. Mm, yeah, I was told to come here at this time, yeah. I couldn't tell if she heard me or not, but it, the beautiful yet creepy girl put the car back on the table and let out a little laugh. Yeah, she's very, very pretty, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know a lot about me, right? Hmm. Yes, I am. Wait, hold on. What's Maya? Oh, yeah, about, about this. I thought it was a, a town or something like that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, uh, okay, girl, I got you. Hoshino Daichi? Hmm. Huh? I thought it was rather back answer. Hmm. I wanted to go home. Ah. Are you afraid of this girl? Come on, dude. I will be pleased to, uh, to see something like this, you know? Look at her teeth. Don't you like teeth, dude? <laughs> What was with that totally creepy girl? Ah, she's creepy, but I, I don't give a fuck about that. Hmm, yeah. If she, if she wants to date me, I fit with that, you know? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why was the room so dark? Maybe there is no at spotlight here, I don't know. Or perhaps they forgot to pay the electricity bill. <laughs> okay. Was in the astronomy club room? Yeah, okay, yeah, I was the uh, I was asking about that. I was wondering about that. Is this the astronomy club or the astrology club? Yeah, because you know astronomy and astrology are not the same. So what the fuck? Yeah. 
Why was she doing tarot or whatever? Yeah, because this is no science. I mean, the astronomy is some science shit, but this, this kind of tarot uh, one is uh, astrology. And astrology is no science. Yeah, you know about that, right, dude? And who is Maya anyway? Yeah, she's, uh, she explained us in some kind of weird shit. Yeah. Yeah, and to tell the truth, I didn't understand it anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, girl, but what the hell? Super suspicious beauty? Okay, let me see this shit. Okay, uh, log, okay. Super suspicious beauty, okay. Suspicious beauty, what the... Okay, okay, I, I... Okay, girl, okay, girl, I got you. But look at these guys. Here's a suspicious beauty, and here, super suspicious beauty. Why did it put super right now? Okay, this is very strange. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Looking at these buildings from the outside, I had thought the people here exist in another world, but now... Yeah, I feel a thousand times more out of place. Yeah, you took a lot of weird shit, girl, but okay, I love uh, how you look, but... Oh my god, okay, okay, girl. Okay, okay, I got you, uh, dude, yeah. I got you while you are very comfortable right now. I just stood here there not knowing how I should respond. Eventually, Miss Beauty, but totally creepy, broke the silence. <laughs> oh, really? What will happen? <sighs> okay, girl, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I think we have to get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I love your teeth, but okay. Anyway, let's get out of here, dude. Come on. Yeah, come on. I don't know what we are talking about. What something was the standard response at a time like that? That's not really something that they teach you in the school. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a story, dude. Look at this. This is no science. Ha. I trust my instincts and answer. Oh man, I think I left my stove on. Okay, okay, that's a very cheesy line, but anyway, let's get down here. <laughs> that could cause a fire. I have to hurry back later. Yeah. Bye, bitch. Yoshioka, Yoshioka, you said Honoka, Honoka, what the fuck? Okay, girl, if you want me to date you, uh, I would fit with that, but don't talk shit. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> oh, Honoka, this girl. Okay, another one? Is her assistant or, or what the hell? Oh, just before I could leave the door behind me, slam shut, closing me in. These bitches, what the hell are you gonna do with me? What the fuck? Darn it grew deeper than before and sweat started to run down my forehead. Okay, oh my god, I think they are gonna rape you. <laughs> I suddenly felt like I was about to become part of some ridiculous crime scene. <laughs> I had really been looking forward to going home and having such as all them. Oh my god, now I miss this girl, what the fuck? To enjoy that flavorful, tender, sweet and radish, that fish cake so juicy and soft. So juicy and so just like the that bitch tits. <laughs> Until they may call me a heretic. The, then the inescap inescapably? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce how to pronounce this word, sorry. Captain Tim Tim Cabbage Ball. <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to talk to me, please don't uh, say something weird shit like you. You said before, please. I don't understand you. I don't have that kind of training necessary to stay calm in a situation like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's playing some kind of of easy one. You know, I mean, um, in some in something like a, a normal person could understand, but not some crazy shit like you said before. Okay, girl. Okay, but I think you have to improve your presentation because it could uh, it could scare anyone, you know? Could you at least open the curtains? If not, I'm going home even if I have to force my way out. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, we need some light, light here. Not this kind of lamp. Okay. 
Here we go. All right. Okay. Now it looks like a science office or something like that. Yeah. Look at this. When the heavy curtain is open, the windows allow soft sunlight from fill the room. What had up? What had up to now being a creepy chamber was revealed to be a standard astronomy club room. Okay, this is astronomy club, but she's using some tarot sort shit. What the fuck? It was probably normal room all along, yeah. <laughs> what? Why are you so uh, trigger girl? What the hell? <laughs> okay, th she doesn't like normal things, right? Anyway, this was turned into a chore. <laughs> but at the same time, when she was slumbering around in shock like that, I only made her more beautiful. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, she looks funny right now. So you are... Yeah, oh. Okay, oh my god, you are so, so, so beautiful girl. Yeah. Her sister is cute too, you know? But oh my god. Okay, you know I love girls with long hair, oh my god, and she has uh, black hair, yeah. That turned me on, girl. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, Orihime Shirato Shiratori. Shiratori. Okay, Orihime Shiratori. Like Asusa Shiratori from Ramani Munoichi. Yeah. <laughs> that crazy girl. All right, I got you. The former president. Okay, so you are not the president anymore? Mm, okay, yeah, I was guessing that, you know, I was guessing you are you, uh, you, you're the assistant of this girl, okay. Oh, okay, now you are the club manager, okay, so you, you pass the torch to this girl, okay, that's nice. I heard about these two, our presidents, or rather our former president, all right. Hmm, Orihime was a third year and Honoka was first year, like me. Hmm, okay, okay. So she's older than Akito. But I don't give a fuck, I would like her anyway. <laughs> As a third year, Orihime should normally have been retired from club life. But maybe at a school like Meiko, third, third years are less worried about tests. Hmm, alright. So I guess you are the Amane of this <laughs> story, right? And this is like the Kotori of this story? Oh my god! That would, if you are the, you have the same attitude like Kotori. Oh my god, that would be fucked up. <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. I'm Akito Sorami. Yeah, I'm a first year in astronomy club and Hoshino Daichi. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. When I sat down, they brought me a elegantly decorated cup of tea and a wild strawberry tart. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that's pretty weird girl, yes, your, be your beauty is enough for me, please, but don't talk shit, okay? I didn't really think that there was the proper way to meet someone for the first time myself. If I had been Saya, I'd be crying. Yeah, oh my god, I can't imagine that. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to talk about? Mm, yeah. I felt like she had said something about it before, but I, it had been so wrapped up in fancy language, I hadn't gotten it, yeah. I mean, I didn't understand shit about that. Mm, your plans? What kind of plans? No, not really, yeah. A look of shock over Orihime's face. Our president didn't tell me anything like that, yeah, at all. The only reason I came was because the president had asked me. Mm, okay. It's complicated, but by president I actually meant former president. Oh, okay. Since he's a third year, he had to retire from the astronomy club last summer. Mm, yeah, like Amane, you know? You remember when Amane retired from the astronomy club because he had to leave the school? Yeah, I remember that. Since I was the only member of the astronomy club, I also became the president despite being a first year. But as there weren't any other members, there wasn't anyone to call me Mr. Preston. Mm. Although I should have been aware of my own position, I always called the former president President. <laughs> and for me, he was still the president. Mm, yeah, I know you feel, you, you, yeah. 
I understand you. It was a little complicated. Mm -hmm. The president told me, I want you to go and hear what Orihimi and Meiko at Meiko Academy had to say, but nothing else other than that. Oh. Mm, Honoka was whispering into Orihime's ear. Oh my god, look at her body. Oh my god, your body's banging, girl. Yeah, uh, you too, you know? You have very nice teeth. Okay, like this. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? Seriously, guys, what the hell? I think this game is tripping my head right now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right, the two of them stare at me curiously. That was not that look for. Yeah, those two were weird. <laughs> the weird, uh, the weird ones. Yeah, uh, I was just here out of respect for my president. <laughs> Secret Star Club? Mm, respond, Akito. The Secret Star Club? No, really, no. Mm, okay, I never heard of it. It's kind of sound like the name of the kids play group. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, an association of astronomy clubs. Uh, oh, the, the text uh, continues. Okay, sorry. An association from city school around what is now Hoshinonaka City. Formerly Hoshino City and Amanonaka City. Okay, let me read this carefully. Uh, an association with city schools around what is now Hoshinonaka City. Hoshino City and Amanonaka City. Um, Saya, uh, her, I mean, Saya's surname was Amanonaka, right? I mean, uh, uh, does she have a, a, a relationship with? Uh, I mean, is she related with the uh, with the mayor of this city? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six years ago, a disagreement over the reaction it, it was talking result is dissolution. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the way most rock bands break up, yeah. Oh my god, let me read this carefully because, oh man. Mm hmm, she just gone and then an was not gonna so, so, yeah. Mm, okay. But anyway, I had no idea there had ever been such a group. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. What a romantic story, yeah. Okay, so what about this group? Mm, Alright. Mm. Mm, okay, I got you. Onoka came up close to me. Mm. If we continue on this path, we are doomed. Oh, for the reason you said that shit. Oh man, but you say with a lot of crazy bullshit. You just, I mean, you have just to tell me the all the, this story to understand you. What the fuck? Come on, girl. You must have went from your ageless slumber, Maya, el eldest of the seven sisters, to deny our fate. Okay, but. You have to uh, to explain that shit with with uh, the things you say saying this right now, you know? Oh my god! But I mean, I you wanted to sound deep or some shit like that? What the hell? I think that was uh, what she said to me, but I still didn't get it. <laughs> oh man! Hmm. Okay, I think he's the only one, right? It's just me, yeah. <laughs> or he may have a smug look on her, fa her face, yeah. Alright. 
2, 1, ok, 2, plus 1, 3, 4, 4, plus 3, 7, Mamori, Moromizawa, ok, sorry guys, it's difficult to pronounce the Japanese word. Technical, there are 3, ok, 7 plus 3, 10, ok, so that means that uh, we, we got 10, 10 people, yeah, 10 more people there. Ok, el third team. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, I can't I can stop looking at her teeth, you know. Oh, they are so big. Yeah, you know, you're the money of this club, right? But you're, you're creepy and weird. Well, the money is so calm, so quiet, peaceful. And well, she's like a little kid, even she's older than Aoi. Yeah, do you remember Aoi? From that visual novel, My Heart Had Wins, yeah. Anyway, I hope you had very good manners to eat, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Clubs are starving for members, everybody, yeah. Mm, okay, yeah, I got you, girl. Okay, so what with this Maya stuff already? Yeah. Don't, uh, don't uh, talk shit again, girl, please. I want to understand you. Oh really? Oh my god! Mm, 10 people? Oh, that's, that's too much! Alright! When she heard Konoka's words, Orihime's sly and look miserable. Okay, that sounds so dramatic, but please don't feel so sad. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. Okay, okay, that's it. Oh my god, the tits continue? Oh, <laughs> you took too much! Yeah, to prevent the, gui the guiding light of astronomy from dying throughout out Hoshinonaka city, we must bring back that golden age. Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay, what we must do, girl? Rebuild the Six Stars Club. Mm -hmm. Rihime nods her head with a very serious look on her face. Alright. It wasn't unusual for astronomy class from different schools to work together and have observations meet up. It's like when a sports class was have a scream man, <laughs> a scream match, a scream match. Okay, sorry guys, I don't know how to pronounce the word. With teens from other schools, this six stars club started out as just an observation meet up. It later morphed into a more permanent arrangement with activities outside of their respective schools. Mm -hmm. After the fall of the season start club, each school club lost lost a lot of members. Mm -hmm. So in order to revive the season start clubs as a whole, each individual club would need to be revitalized as well. Mm, okay. Okay. Look at this game. Uh, the game want want me to to look at his at her tits. Yeah. Yeah. But you know I feel comfortable with this. But please, game, you are so pervert. <laughs> but the season start club was shut down by. Alumni, wasn't it? Alumni? Mm -hmm. What else happened in that disagreement over directions, I wonder? If we just go out and try to rebuild it, won't they get mad? Mm -hmm. And some school's former members of the sports club sections held a lot of clout over them, although astronomy fell under culture ru club rules. Whether they allow it or not, if, I, if we try to revive the six star club, they will hesitate to bat it, bat him. <laughs> mm, okay. With a supreme confidence, my Orihime walked to the middle of the room and stood in front of the set, spherical astrolabe set conspicuously. Oh my God! On the table, it was quite all looking, judging from the center placement of the Earth and the surrounding celestial bodies. Celestial bodies. So sorry. It appeared to be a decoration model of something from the 
Fotlemic Era, right? Fotlemic Era. Yeah, Fotlemic Era. Oh my god, yeah, I need to pronounce this word uh, uh, correctly. You know, I'm gonna check it out later. Orihime placed her hand on it. You can? Oh my god. Saying this, they slowly spawn the asphalt. Okay. The planet's orbits around me. It was she seems to say. With these hands, I can alter the course of the planets themselves. Though I have to admit, it wasn't exactly sure what she was doing going for. Mm, yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> really? They actually practice for this? Oh my god. For the time being, I pretend not to notice Orihime's dedication to the performance and set. I see what you're saying, and I understand your motivation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I don't think I can help you. Mm, oh, really? I don't even do a stargazing anymore. Mm. I still remember astronomy club, but it just sort of worked out that way. I already decided not to look at the sky anymore. But you lied uh, that shit. I mean, I remember when you were a kid, you liked to watch the uh, to look at the stars in, uh, in all uh, only the early uh, mornings, you know, with your childhood friends, uh, Hikari and Saya. Why don't you like this this thing anymore? Huh, Kito? I try to sound apologetic, but Orihime just stared at me with a confused look on her face. Which was expected, if someone in the astronomy club told me they didn't look at uh, stars, I do the same. Mm. The astronomer who never look at the stars? That's also weird. Uh, make no sense, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Well, you already know, then there is no need to explain it again. So I guess if that's all, I better get going. Okay, dude, but that's very a very weird um, yeah, behavior, you know? You're an astronom astronomer, but you don't want to look at the stars. What the fuck? And with that, I stood up and start to leave. Okay, okay, well, yeah, yeah, girl, okay, yeah, yeah. Or he must only grab my hand. Mm, but I think I feel I feel your teeth right, right now, right, baby? Okay, what the fuck is wrong with Seriously, what the hell? Come on! <laughs> oh my god! It was so far that I could even have imagined and I froze in place. Alright, girl, <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the music sounds pretty nice, you know? Yeah. Okay. Orihime staring into my eyes. You remember your childhood, dude. Yeah, don't you remember when you were a kid, dude? Yeah, you, you were looking at the stars early mornings, yeah. Don't you remember? Oh my god. She started mo I'm moving into my eyes as if we she was stretching into my deepest memories. I'm so real, but I can't. Oh man. Yeah, she's disappointed. Or he may well with her disappointment visible, yeah. It was like seeing Kotaru get sad when Saya wouldn't play with him and I couldn't help but feel guilty. Mm, but I wonder what is the reason uh, that this dude doesn't want to do that shit anymore. Well, I had to get to war. Mm, yeah, really? Unable to bury any longer, I stood to go, but this time it was Konoka who stopped me. Mm, okay, girl, but come on, dude. Yeah, fine. Yeah, come on. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, girl. We are gonna we are gonna get back here. Yeah. 
And I think so, because, you know, the, as he's the hero of this story, I think we are going to do something in this, in this kind of place, right? When he said that, Orihime seems to cheer up a bit. She even smiled a little. All right, that's nice. Yeah, I will, girl. For those seats, oh my god, I will do anything for you. <laughs> okay, what the fuck, oh my god. That is my was more persuas persuasive than any ridiculous argument, and I found myself nodding subconsciously. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god, sorry guys, what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh! Saya, oh Saya, you're here. Okay, that's nice, look at this. Bye bye! Koshino Daichi's girl A. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this picture. It's so, so beautiful, you know? Yeah. Okay. The girl on her way home from Hoshino's Daichi wave, so I gave a little wave, hand, wave back. Alright. Who was that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Listen. Oh my god, she, she took so soft that I, I couldn't hear, hear her. Oh my god, sorry guys. I had no idea. Yeah, but you know, I w I wonder what what happened with her eyes. You know, what the fuck? I feel I feel uncomfortable with her eyes. You know, I mean, she's cute, the beautiful, um, and she has a very very nice and soft personality. That I mean, I it made me feel in love with her. But oh man, her eyes! What the fuck? Please, it's game. Explain to me this shit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. I come by so many times that I guess they remember me now. Mm. Yeah, what the fuck, girls? That's what they seem to be calling me. My face felt hot. <laughs> they were saying something about a boyfriend too. Yeah. Ah, uh, don't worry, girl. I mean, you're so cute. Oh man. I, oh my God. I'm. I'm. I'm tempted to uh, to feel uh, so attracted with her. You know. Oh my God. She's so cute and uh, very kind. Oh man, you're gonna, I'm gonna cry, guys, but oh my god. I did worry a little. Oh man. Just let the ones before all the students on their way home look my way. I guess it was only natural since I was aware for a girl wearing another school uniform to be there. But it was so embarrassing that I couldn't stand it anymore. And soon I just. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh, don't go, girl, please! Feeling helpless, I look down at the package in my hands. Mm, yeah, please stay. Oh, President? What the hell? If she's been smiling like that from the stars, I never could have refused. Mm, okay, okay, guys, I'm gonna right here. Okay, it's a good place to save. Yeah, we're gonna continue in the next video. Yeah, Shikari. Okay, come on. Oh my god. That's the voice of Hikari, right? Oh. <laughs> Her voice. I mean, uh, I wonder how uh, she looks right now. Okay, I'm gonna here, but let's first of all let's see the gallery because I think we got more pics, right? Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Hmm, very beautiful, you know. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four pics. Okay, great. Okay, here. Oh my God, we got a lot of pics in this game. That's nice. Okay, one, two, three, three. And this one with this bitch, oh my god, I love her teeth, you know? Yeah. 
That was the best thing of this on this <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four. All right. Here, here. Ah, uh, there. This one. Uh, funny animation. I thought the dog wanted to to fuck her. What the fuck? One, two, three, three. Okay. Nothing else, right? Okay. Here. Okay. We got more uh, tracks. That's great. Okay. Let's see. Um, here. Let's let's listen. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, dream days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blue moon. Oh, I, I think we heard this thing before, right? If I remember correctly. Mm, the music is also nice, you know. It's very quiet, very calm. They are relaxing. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, the theme for that dog, right? Yeah, uh, it's barking, it's, it sounds pretty fake, but anyway. Swing by. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty cheerful, that's nice. A lunar rain. Mm -hmm. This part is for the, the sad moment, right? Okay, here. Okay, we got something here. Okay, let's see. This one. Oh, we heard this thing before, right? Okay, this one. Oh, yeah, we we, we listened to that thing before. Clips. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Back. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to start here. Thank you so much for watching this gameplay. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Um, Well, let's see what we got in the next one. Yeah. Oh man, man, man! But I love the uh, the characters, you know. I love Saya's personality. Yeah, and I love the uh, Orihime states. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Like, give it a comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Stay tuned.